Hey guys, here we are from the Ramsey Machine Shop down in Texas, and you're looking at Erica and Nick. They flew down from Western New York to get some training on their brand new five foot seventy ton six plus one axis 3D brake, and I'll show you a little walk around and some more features and details about this. But for the next little bit here, you're just going to watch some of the highlights of our training. All right, well, we wrapped up the training with uh, Erica and Nick, and we're gonna get their machine all set up for shipping and get it up to them in New York. But I wanted to just give you a quick walk around of this and uh, show you a little about it. So we got this one here. The, the, this is a 3D machine. That one's a 3D machine. And this is also a 3D machine right here. So any of them that you see that have the gray sheet metal is gonna be a uh, gantry style machine all right and so gantry meaning the structure of the machine you can see this one the end of it is boxed in so this kind of limits you on working off the end but the good thing about it is it's completely open full depth and that's one of the things that you run into with this style machine is a seat frame machine and very typical very common probably the most popular type of brake and you can see you got the C notches in there and that limits the, the throat depth. And the bigger you go, the further those are to the inside. This one, you know, is not really cutting off that much. You probably got four feet between the uprights on this one. So these style, slightly different sheet metal color scheme is gonna be the C notch or C frame style. And then the ones with the monochrome gray sort of look are gonna be the, uh, the gantry style. So five foot, 70 ton, eight foot, 145 ton, 10 foot, 220 ton. Well, that one right there will bend quarter inch at its full width. And so will this one. This one will bend quarter inch easily all day long, but probably at about three, four feet, it's kind of maxing it out. Unless you want to go, you know, with a different, bigger die, then you can get quarter inch at full width on this one too. But these all come with a two inch die as their largest die, which is set for sort of like the optimum setup for for quarter inch so anyway um we're gonna do some test bends on this real quick to demonstrate the difference because this has a really cool feature um let me just show you that real quick so the traditional uh hybrid configuration that we do on these machines this one's kind of turned up to another notch um this one has as you can see we have dual tanks dual motors dual 
gearboxes and the gearboxes are actually you can see the plate here the actual gearbox is submerged in the tank super smooth quiet operation you're going to see that in just a minute this one is super nice no complaints about it it's the same you know configuration that we have on this style right here as well the servo driven main motor hybrid style and if you look back here you can see we have that same configuration all right so we're going to get this set up and do some uh some test bends we're going to bend quarter inch on the quiet machine and some little 090 aluminum on this machine and we'll let you hear and see the difference All right, so that last clip, you could hear the difference in the smoothness and quietness of, of this unit compared to that one. Now, I wouldn't hesitate to run that machine. I mean, it, it's got the same motor combination of all these precision series machines that we've got hundreds of them out there running. And they run great, and they're super smooth in their own way. Um, real quick about pricing. So that one right there with the standard motor configuration uh, that I showed you is 88000 this five foot 70 ton version of the same machine, six plus one axis 3D controller is 68,000. And if you want the model with the dual submerged gearbox configuration, that's about seven or 8,000 more. And right now, I don't, this will be the last one of those. I do have another one on order. And actually we're gonna be, the one that's on order to replace this one for inventory is gonna be an eight plus one and it's gonna have even some more features on it. And it's gonna be around 100,000 with it all decked out and all said and done. So anyway, just a little bit about pricing. Benforcebrakes.com is the website. You can go check them out there. Again, some of the color schemes and models and stuff aren't exactly represented in detail because we're always changing, refining, upgrading. So, but check it out, benforcebrakes.com.